I'm Mark McAllister at City Hall. The city's ombudsman is calling out the TTC tonight, saying its investigation into an altercation involving some fair inspectors and a young black man on a streetcar platform last year wasn't fair or thorough enough. Today, the CEO from the TTC says it will do better moving forward, but it won't be revisiting this case anytime soon. All the evidence was seemingly right there for all to see. Video of transit enforcement officers and a black teen in an altercation, shared online and reason to look into the matter further. There was a lot of public concern at the time about what had occurred, how had this incident unfolded and how it had ended so violently, and, and also whether there was a, uh, any racism involved. The TTC's investigation into the matter concluded that two of the enforcement officers were clear of any wrongdoing, but a third was guilty of discreditable conduct for smiling in a condescending manner before the altercation. And that's it. The City of Toronto Ombudsman has now concluded, quote, the TTC's investigation into this incident was not adequately thorough, fair, and transparent. We therefore could not find that its conclusions were reasonable. There is a TTC expectation, and the training of fair inspectors is that if they find themselves in a situation of potential conflict or trouble, they are to disengage and move away. Uh, that didn't happen here. The TTC, for its part, says it accepts the feedback. She's helped us identify some areas within our processes for investigations that we've accepted and we're going to improve upon, right? And that's just one of them. In response, the TTC says it plans on putting together an anti-racism strategy, including putting together a task force and training employees on best practices. Desmond Cole is an outspoken writer and activist and points to what he believes is a much bigger problem with those working on our subways, streetcars and buses. We all have these stories as black people of being targeted by transit officials, being targeted for the fare, being embarrassed, being humiliated because we might not have the fare. What's your reaction to what the TTC has said today? Well, I mean, it is 2019 still, right? I mean, the, the TTC is just aware now that racial profiling on its own you know, service is a thing and that it needs to devise a strategy. This is ludicrous. Now, a few months after that incident, we did find out that a lawsuit was filed by the teen and his mom to try and gain some of support and some money back from what happened. We reached out to the lawyer today to try and find out what was happening, but that lawyer did not return our calls. We did find out from the TTC and the Ombudsman's office that the lawsuit is still pending. We also found out from the TTC CEO's office that, in fact, that the three fair officers that were involved in this case, one is no longer with the organization.